Google I.O. has basically turned into Google A.I. On Tuesday, Google kicked off its annual Google I.O. conference, which is where the company unveils new hardware and software and sets the tone for the next year. This year, they're leaning heavily into A.I., and I mean heavily. I hope you like your Google products with a big dose of AI because it's being added to basically everything. Let's start with Google's core AI model, Gemini, which is getting multiple facelifts. Gemini Pro can now analyze longer documents, code bases, videos, and audio recordings than before. There's also a new service called Gemini Live where you can have in-depth voice chats. And Gemini on Android will be able to work with Google services like Gmail, Messages, and YouTube. There are also a number of upgrades on the generative AI side, the most notable is probably Vio, which can create 1080p video clips that are about a minute long. But again, Google isn't just putting AI in a silo. It's also bringing the technology into its core products. For example, Gmail users can use Gemini to search, summarize, and draft emails, and even for more complex tasks like filling out a form for an online return. And yes, AI is coming to search. Google has been testing out AI overviews, which are basically AI summaries of search results. Now it's rolling those out to hundreds of millions of users in the US. To be blunt, this is something that's potentially destructive to many online businesses, including TechCrunch. But given generative AI's tendency to hallucinate, to just make things up, I'm not convinced this is great for regular web users either. For what it's worth, Google says it won't show these overviews when traditional search results are sufficient. It also said that during testing, the overviews cause people to click on a greater diversity of websites. All of these announcements came one day after OpenAI had its own event where it announced its latest model, GPT-40. Now, I'm not privy to any behind the scenes information, but it definitely seems like OpenAI was trying to steal some of Google's thunder. And even if there was no deliberate undercutting, it's clear that competition is in the air. OpenAI has almost single-handedly gotten everyone excited about the potential of AI, and now established companies like Google need to show that they're not being left behind. Of course, there are plenty of other companies, large and small, competing in this space, so this isn't gonna be the final word on any of these technologies. One of Google's biggest advantages is the fact that it already owns these popular web services. So it's less about convincing users to try something new and more about improving your existing experience with AI. Of course, for that to be true, the AI actually has to make your experience better. I think the jury's still out on that one. I'll see you tomorrow.